Yeah, we used a very interesting technique, very exciting technique called induced pluripotent stem cells, where we can take a very small amount of a patient's uh, either skin sample or a blood sample, and we can reprogram this into uh, what's called a pluripotent uh, cell, which is then differentiated, uh, made to be um, a retinal uh, ganglia or retinal organoid. So recapitulating the normal cells that you have in, in your eye, and that allows us to model the cellular architecture of, of age-related macular degeneration using a patient's um, own cells. I think fundamentally we've made an important stride forward in understanding the way in which the genetic differences between people ultimately act to cause the disease. And for us, the next really important steps are to work on two strategies, one using uh, gene editing technologies, CRISPR technology, to see whether we're able to correct for the genetic mutations that cause these diseases. And secondly, to use our stem cell, our induced pluripotent stem cell systems to create a platform to screen a large number of drugs and compounds to determine which ones are most likely to have a beneficial effect on patients. So age-related macular degeneration has um, a genetic um, causes or genetic risks uh, for it. And we've been able to show how those genetic uh, factors act at the level of the individual cells in, in a human eye and ultimately how we can use that information to start informing um, treatments for patients and ultimately screening a large number of new drugs um, that can be used to treat AMD. We used uh, a very exciting technology called indu induced pluripotent stem cells which are formed by taking a very very small um, sample either a patient's skin or their blood sample and these cells are then reprogrammed to create cells in the human eye. And we can then use genomic technology to analyze those cells to show how the genetics are causing differences in cells um, between different patients. I think we've made an important step forward in our understanding about the actual mechanisms by which AMD arises in patients. And it's put us in a position to move forward with two areas of, of therapeutic development. The first is using gene editing technology, CRISPR technology, to see whether we're able to correct for the genetic effects for the disease. And secondly is to use our induced pluripotent stem cell platform to develop really high throughput screening approaches to be able to test large number of drugs and compounds to determine which ones are most likely to have a beneficial effect in patients. We've learned that many diseases really act at the level of individual cells and so to study the disease we need to be able to use the cells where that disease is, is occurring, it's pathogenic. And for obvious reasons accessing uh, cells in your retina or your optic nerve are almost impossible, very challenging. Uh, and so we use stem cell systems to be able to recapitulate and recreate these cells but starting with a patient's own genetic material. So it carries the same genetic differences between different patients and recreates the same cell subtypes that you would normally have in your, in your eye and your optic nerve.